My name is Michael Bird, and I'm Kiwa Pueblo from New Mexico, and I'm past president of the American Public Health Association. The session I am doing for APHA is titled Owning Historical Trauma, Precursor to Strengthening Public Health. Basically, it's looking at the historical antecedents that have brought us to this point in terms of violence and uh, part and parcel, as I see it, uh, COVID and its implications for Native populations, as well as African American and other communities of color. Of any racial or ethnic group, American Indians and Alaska Natives have the highest mortality rates from multiple chronic conditions, including heart disease, stroke, liver disease, kidney disease, lower respiratory disease, and diabetes. They also report the lowest self-rated health status and have the sh shortest life expectancy of any racial or ethnic group. Needless to say, if that's where we're starting out from, um, COVID clearly has significant implications and impact on Native communities. Unfortunately, because of our small numbers, we tend to be invisible and don't get the attention that other communities do. American Indian communities have been subject to more violence than any other population in this country. Present circumstances, the United States government made, made under treaties made obligation and commitments to Indian people in this country. And unfortunately, through the Indian Health Service, the, the level of funding for Indian people has only been at 50% of the level of need. I think the other thing is one of the polite terms that's used is co comorbidities for communities. It's a polite way of really not addressing the real issue. The real issue is historical trauma. The real issue is poverty. The real issue is racism. APHA as an organization is based on a number of values, equity, diversity. And I guess what I would say, this is important because people don't know the history of this country, particularly when it comes to native populations. People don't understand the context the nature of disparities, the nature of poverty, racism, and how history is tied to all of that. 